All right, y'all, we are back with another video and say it ain't so, man. MSNBC is something serious. We already know how Rachel Maddow is. We already know all they talk about is Donald Trump. And then now you got Jory and I can't believe that this woman is trying to defend on why adult books should be in school with kids that kids should be able to read adult books. Like I really just don't get this at all. What is wrong with Joy Reed? Like I said, this right here, just somebody to even be thinking like this is just sick in the head. Why would you want your kids reading stuff like that? So you want your kids to have adult books in school and you don't have a problem with it. That is just crazy to me. So we definitely got to check this one now. This one coming by the officer Tatum. I will leave the original video in the description. He said, Mama Bear ends Jory's career over adult books being in school. <laughs> this right here is just crazy. This is crazy. But like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. I also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time. I want everybody to please hit that like button because this video needs to get out there so people can see the food that Joe Reed is for wanting adult books in a school with kids so kids can read them. Really just don't get this at all. What is wrong with this woman? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this and uh, – Let's see exactly how all this right here went down, y'all. So let's go. What is the expertise that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide that a book, an award-winning book like All Boys Aren't Blue, isn't appropriate for students to read? What, what is your expertise? A, what a tragic story. Um, in what context is a strap-on dildo acceptable for public school? Wow. I've never seen nobody get beat down Ooh. like this. Mm -hmm. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification. Anytime I go live, make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Oh my gosh. I have, I, like, y'all listen to me. I was sent the video. Mm -hmm. I watched the first, like, 30 seconds of the video. And I said, I have to make this video. I am blown away at how this beatdown happened. I, I can't. Like, I'm dumbfounded. Somebody at Joy Reid's uh, 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 news station didn't do homework at all. They put the wrong woman up here because this right here should end Joy Reid's career forever. Nobody would ever listen to her again. This woman must have hit her with a, with, a, with a combination of punches. And they were devastating. And I'm talking about Figuratively, right? YouTube. But y'all gotta watch this. I, I like I, I wanna give this lady a hug. I wanna I wanna donate a million dollars to her. She was so good. Because these leftist lunatics put out a narrative, but they never get challenged on the narrative. Right. And people aren't bold enough to come on the show and just mm, mm, mm. But that's what happened. Without me running my mouth, put your seatbelt on. Let's go. It's gonna get crazy. Roll the clip. The question I'm asking is, what is the expertise? that you have and other Moms for Liberty advocates have to decide Laughing that a book, an award-winning book like All Boys Aren't Blue isn't oh. appropriate for students to read. What, what is your expertise? A, what a tragic story of a young man who's anally by his adult family member. So you have incest. Ooh. Yeah, Joy, you said you'd let me answer, so sure. I'm going to answer Please for do. you. Um, in what context is a strap-on dildo acceptable for public school? Just let, I mean, that's my question mm -hmm. to you. Tell me what the context around the strap on dildo or the of a minor child by a teacher. Hold on a second. No, no, no. no. no wait, We're talking on. about no, no, public no. school. One, one. <laughs> wow. Too much, bro. That's too much. For she me. was hitting her with some God hate Dang. How she going to answer that? Man, who is mom's a liberty? God dang. Oh, man. All right. So now you've asked me questions. Sure. Well, and I'm going to answer it. Okay. Well, who is the main character? What's the name of the main character in All Boys Are Blue? Art Blue? You're asking me right now. You just gave me very specific information about this book, so you're pre presenting yourself as somebody expert. It's the gentleman. To, um, hold on. The main, to, who's the main character in the, the book? The main character is the author. Who's the, what's his name? George, I believe, is his first because name. Because you're giving me very specific information that is. What, what they got to do with this thing? They're trying to. 
y'all, y'all, check this out. I, I'm gonna play the video, but this is what they do. I, people do me like this all the time in debates. When, I, I, like, when I would debate black, black uh, conservatives that are black first, they always have like this idea of Marcus Garvey or something, some some obscure person that is irrelevant in, in real black history, and they are ask you a question about him that you know, and then they think they want to debate. It's like, bro, you ask me some question about some obscure fact somewhere that that I need to actually do some research to verify if you even telling me the truth. And this, and this is what she's doing. Who's of character? What they, what they got to do with strap holes and stuff? You're Thinking asking me to remember the name of an author. You the just remember very specific names. Joy. Here's my We're question. We're talking about Here's track. My you didn't answer my no, question. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to answer Great. your question. I would love to hear that. Absolutely. Well, I, you, I'm interviewing you, and you're not interviewing me. So let's just make sure it's a conversation. Okay? Wow. So what I'm saying to you is that as you are not an expert in this book, I don't or have to be an expert no, 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 to know that those aren't appropriate for public school. I mean, this book is a full context story as you said, of the author's experience. Why is it your right or a Moms for Liberty activist's right to say that a parent who wants their child to have access to this book, which gives a personal experience of this author, that they, the, why doesn't a liberal parent, for instance, or a parent of an LGBTQ kid, why don't they have a right for their child to just have access to this book? Why is it your right to say they can't? So again, we're talking about incest, and well, each parent, has, well, no, each, said one moment, moment. No, no, no. each parent has to decide what is appropriate for their child to read. So I want you to answer. I'm going to so ask you one more a, time. Right. What is your right to tell a parent who wants their child, who might feel seen by this story? Why oh don't they gosh. have the right? Why don't they have the right as a parent to say my child can have access to this book? If a child feels seen by this story, that means that they have been uh, the victim of a predator. That means that they have either been by a family member, they, they, they've experienced... Um, that is what? You just said that What's the your child feels that? seen by this story. They, so they, they, what, no, 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 what no, no, I'm no, saying, no. Joy, You're now making assumptions no, about it. No, no, But if Let a child give you has an, been... We should do a lot better than put a book on a library Now you're literally shelf. creating we a story. To... <laughs> she don't want to talk. She made a point. If you feel seen by a story of... <laughs> think about this. If they had a story, and I'm going to play the clip, I promise y'all. If they had a story about a kid living in uh, Paradise Valley, Arizona, in a multi-million dollar house, and all he did was eat caviar and filet mignon every day, and, and you, they present that book in the school, and I feel seen by that book. If I feel seen, that means I have a connection with the experience. And that's exactly yep. what she's saying. If a kid feels seen by a, a person being that essentially has been abused by a predator, that's more, to, a book is not the solution of having a kid relive trauma through reading a mandatory book in school. They probably should see counseling and never have that exposure to something like that again outside of a professional health. Right. That's what, the, that's what she's saying. But Joy can't answer, so she got to keep doing what she's doing. See, the thing with Joy Reid, all she's doing is she's just constantly cutting the woman off. Every time she makes a point, Joy Reid, if it's something Joy Reid don't want to hear, she, no, 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 hold on, hold on. You're not interviewing me. I'm interviewing you. It don't matter. She's answering your question, and the problem is it's not what Joy wanted to hear. So she's just going to keep cutting her off. I can't see how this woman can sit here and defend wanting adult books to be on the shelf for kids to read. And she don't have a problem with that. What is wrong with Joy Reid? This is this right here just don't make no sense at all. Don't I don't want my my kid going to school being able to read adult books? What? That is just crazy. And you got Joy Reid sitting here trying to defend and advocate and try to make a point on why it should be on the shelf. Top of ah, uh, come on, man. I just don't get it. She have ended her career with something like this, trying to argue about why kids should be able to read it. Yes. Behind a child that you don't know. Let me show you a form. This is a form that can be obtained in Broward County, Florida. Okay. I'm going to show it to the audience, and then I'm going to show it to you. Okay. This is called can the opt-out. Yeah, please, I'm going to okay. hand it Thank to you. you so much. It's called the opt-out form. Okay. An opt-out form would allow any parent, because you said you are in favor of parental rights. I am. It would allow any parent to opt out of their child being able to take books out of the library without their parents' permission.
Okay. So that Moms for Liberty, why not advocate that every school in America have an opt out form so that a parent who doesn't want their child to access a book like All Boys Are Blue, right. that they can make that choice? Because then each parent, including a liberal parent, a black parent, a parent who wants Man, to- that is just stupid. They got to fill out a form just to. Uh, man, come on, man. Why would a parent have to fill out a form just to say, I don't want my students reading it? That, that right there shouldn't be allowed anyway. They shouldn't have to fill out a form because teachers ought to be smart enough to know that kids don't need to be reading this. So you telling me a parent got to fill out a form just to say, I don't want my child reading it. So, okay, let's just say if the kid made the uh, you got other kids in the classroom that is able to pick up one of them books. What if my child is over there watching this person and watching the other kid read it? You know what I'm saying? So it can still go like my my child is still over there looking at what's in those books. So I, I, I really just don't get this right here. You shouldn't, a parent shouldn't have to fill out a form because teachers ought to be smart enough to know that kids don't need to have those type of books in the school. Man, Joy Reed is ridiculous, man. Yeah, I, man, she should have been fired for this. Your child to read a book about African American history. We, they want, get their we want children to read books. Why about not just American opt history, out so. for yourself rather than tell other parents what they can and cannot? First oh. of all, I think what you're talking about here is a wonderful step in the right direction. Um, we should be having conversations about this. This is about local control. Mm -hmm. A lot of these decisions are made at, made at the local school board level. Mm -hmm. And that's where these decisions should be made. And there should be vibrant conversations sure. about what's happening in our public schools and what kids have access to. Joy, however, mm -hmm. maybe we could just put all the books with all the graphic sexual content. The dildos. You're not Yes. I'm sorry. Let's do I'm a, so sorry. Let's do excuse a back me. Room. Excuse me. Let's excuse put a curtain up me. in the library. First of like all, they used hold on. To do One moment. One stores. moment. Remember the when we were little and you would go Liberty. to the video store? The books that Moms for Liberty. Put those the books, books that Moms for Liberty. Videos with pornography. The I know that you, I, I've seen, we can just do that in I have seen library. tapes of what Moms for Liberty does. Let's see, bring on the show and then talk over. Yeah, that's the thing. Because I see what or what the mom is trying to do. She's trying to get a point out, but every time she starts to make a point, Joy Reid, she tries to cut her off and trying to talk over her. It don't matter if you the inter if you the person interviewing her. If you're gonna interview somebody, you're supposed to let them talk. That's the whole point of you interviewing them. So you can hear what they gotta say. You you ask your question and they're gonna answer it. Every time that I promise this woman has not been able to finish one sentence without Joy Reid constantly cutting her off every single time. So I'm just like the mom. I'll be the same way. I just talk over you then because I'm every time I make a point, you just you just ain't finna keep cutting me off and asking me another question when we ain't even done answering this question. It's just ridiculous. These people are nuts. And you all go into school board meetings Joy, and you read a graphic stuff. No, it's not. There is a, there's, America Je used to understand that there's beloved, something called age appropriate beloved, content. Uh, right. And here's my we question have again. Uh, again, on movies. again, again. Ruby Bridges <laughs> goes to school. See, this is the gaslighting that these liberals do. Fundamental issue. And, and, and this, is, this is the problem with opt out. This is like saying I, the, a teacher at the school can talk to your kid about sex positions or the parent can opt out. First of all, you shouldn't be talking about that in the school exactly. because if the parent is unaware, they may not have the kid opt out. If the parents are unaware that books like this exist in the school, which never existed before in the history of schooling in America, they may not know to opt their kids out. You don't thrust in graphic behavior and hope that they opt out. No, they should be able to opt into stuff. They shouldn't be able to have to opt out you should be pushing this generically in the library at a school. And then you hope the parents can go and do the research and look at every book that they have in the school and hope that none of it is inappropriate. You would assume as a parent that all the books are appropriate. Right. Age appropriate. Yep. She had made mention about, you know, the kid they having dildos and stuff in the listen, there is ratings to movies. You can't watch a certain movie if it if, if PG 13. That means any kid under 13 can't watch the movie. You know, rated R. Anybody, uh, I think below 18, maybe 16, I don't know what rated R is. I think it may be adult content. So it'll be anybody under 18 can't watch a rated R movie. I mean, technically, I, I don't know what rated R is, but you get what I'm saying. There's age restrictions and age appropriateness even in movies. So the same thing should be applicable in books. If you're describing a graphic sexual encounter, that's not age appropriate for young people. And a parent shouldn't have to go through the library and look at every book and make sure they're all good. And then opt out because they see one or two books that's that's not appropriate. Right. The problem is that if you have four hundred thousand appropriate books 
and 25 inappropriate books, why would a parent opt out of 400,000 good books? The thing is that if you got 25 books in there that are inappropriate, they, they should not be in the library. And parents who want to re-traumatize their children and expose them to pedophilia and sex acts, they can go buy the book on their own and subject their own child to it. But when it's when it's authorized, a public school, that means it's sanctioned by the government, mm -hmm. that it's appropriate for your children. I, I don't get, you know, of course, Joy Reid is disingenuous. You can see in the interview, she wouldn't let the lady talk. Nope. She go, do you know who the author of the book? She don't need to know who the author of the book is if she know the subject matter in the book. Exactly. I if you know the subject matter of the book, I don't give a you know what about who's the author. Because whoever the author is, they need to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the whole point that just sitting here watching Joy Reid try to defend this and type of, well, maybe they should have opt-ins and opt-outs. But it could be other books in the school that our kids want to read, not no adult books. So if you opt out, that means you opting out of all books, basically. So, I, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> you shouldn't even be teaching kids about adult stuff anyway. They're kids. But yet, you got Joy Reid trying to sit here and defend it. I don't need to know the main character of a book if, 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 the, if the subject matter is inappropriate. That's like saying you got a book and the person that's in the book is a serial killer. Who, who You know who the main character is? I don't know who the main character is. I just know the book is about serial killing. And, and you're presenting to elementary school teach, uh, students. I don't even know how our country is even in this position. It's very clear, mm -hmm. but, but disingenuous black people and liberals, white and black liberals, they're so disingenuous. And, 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 and she, I don't know if she have kids or not, or she probably raised them horribly if she think this is appropriate. You know, you, this is not necessary. Talking about rape, like we never heard of anything like that in, in school. They would never play a book. They would never talk to you. you would, they would have to present to the parent that this is being done, and the parent can say, my kid is not participating. They are not letting parents know that these books are in the schools. They're just doing it and hoping that by the time your parent find out, they already indoctrinated you on it. But anyway, y'all comment in the comment section. Was Joy Reid wrong for this? Which I think she is. But what did you Right. She definitely was. Yeah, she was wrong. Definitely wrong for trying to push this agenda. Then she wouldn't even let the woman talk. She talking about uh, I'm interviewing you. And I'm like, okay, if you interviewing me, you're supposed to let me talk. After you ask me a question, let me give you my answer. But she wasn't doing it. This woman, the whole interview wasn't able to finish one of her sentences. Every time she got halfway through it, Jory would cut her off and get on to the next question. It was just ridiculous, man. I, I just really don't see it. This woman should have, Jory should have been fired for this. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Like I said, this right here is just crazy. Crazy. But thank you all for watching. Like I said, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.